Hello, Tom Nation. It's your boy Tom, and today I'm doing a follow up video. Um, a lot of you uh, really like this one video I did uh, for Woodimation, and basically, um, I'll put the uh, link in the description below since I don't have it really pulled up right now. Um, but yeah, it's this one right here. You guys keep asking um, how to loop. That's like 50% of the comments in there. So with this macro recorder, you basically press your hotkey. It performs the action, but then it's done. It's done. And you got to push the hotkey again. So a lot of you were asking how to do that. So at the time of filming this video, at least, there's really no way to do that. Let me launch it actually here real quick. Um, so for example, I have this test macro that we're going to be using. Uh, it's using F1 as the hotkey, and it's just simply going to type ABC for the demo here. Uh, there is a thing, if you hover over this little gear icon, uh, you get a notification, open macro, uh, advanced settings coming soon. I've had this installed on my computer for probably like four to six months and haven't had a single update. So I'm not really sure if they're planning uh, to do an update anytime soon, what they consider coming soon, and if that's even going to uh, include the ability for looping. So... There's two ways that I found. There's plenty of ways to do this, but these are the two I found to be the easiest and most in line with basically my channel here. Um, and one of that is auto hotkeys. So a lot of you know auto hotkeys. If you don't just install uh, it, I'm going to show you another way to do it without installing auto hotkeys. Um, but we're just going to simply in version one or version two, really, uh, just with a little slight difference. Uh, we obviously don't want to use F1 as our hotkey because the macro recorder is already using that. That's what's being triggered. So we're going to go with F2. Now simply, we're just going to create a loop. Uh, if you wanted to do it a certain amount of times, you can put a number there like 3 or 5. That means it's going to loop 5 times. If you want it to go forever, just leave it blank as just plain old loop. Uh, but we'll stick with 5 for now. Um, and then we're simply just going to do a send command. Um, if we're doing something like a hotkey that's just the letter A, we can just do A. But if it's going to be something like enter or space or, as we're doing here, F1, we do need to put it in the curly brackets just like that. Now, we can also add a sleep. Uh, that way we have time for it to finish whatever it's supposed to be doing or we do want to control how often it's going. So we can do like 5,000 milliseconds, which translates to 5 seconds. So 1,000 milliseconds equals 1 second, just so you know. So just do the math there. Um, and then just make sure we close it with our curly bracket. Now with this, we're doing a loop that basically is doing it five times. So once it's done, it's going to exit this loop. So we just want to put a return there. Um, the reason why is because I do want to put another hotkey or I might have other code down here. I don't want it to run unless I tell it to. And we're going to do exit app. This is kind of like a safety free feature where basically if I want to end it before the 5 gets done or during it, it, something goes wrong, I can always push F3 to just cut this off. The macro will finish whatever it was doing at the time, and then it'll stop. So this is kind of like a fail-safe uh, pause is another one you can use. There's different options there. But this is literally all the code. Now, I'm coding in Notepad++. If you want to keep it even simpler and one less program to download, you can just simply go into Windows Notepad and just use uh, this right here uh, to write this code. Uh, just make sure when you save it, you name it whatever you want, uh, .ahk, and then you just run it from your desktop. So let's go ahead and see this one in action. So actually, since I have Notepad open, I'm gonna push F1, and as you see, it does that ABC right there for us. But we're going to go ahead and loop it, so let's go ahead open testing 3. It's asking me, I can run in version 1, or if you have version 2, it's really up to you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead push F1, and as you see it type that ABC, it's going to wait that 5 seconds. It's then going to type ABC again. Uh, I think I just had a little bit of a lag there, that happens when I'm recording. Right, let's try that again. There we go. It's going to wait that roughly five seconds. Um, it's not always perfectly accurate. And then I can push F3 to exit out of the program. 
And so that's like one of the simplest ways to do it. Um, another way to do this also is if you just want to keep it simple. Unfortunately, use a macro recorder to help the macro recorder. Uh, it is what it is. Um, but you can go to my Discord, which will be also in the description. Go to Auto Hotkeys. Go to Share Your Scripts. And this one right here, the TN Auto Click Macro. So you click that. We'll make that a little bigger. You just scroll down until you find uh, the download, or you can just do the pin drop here. Download the executable. That way it's standalone. You don't have to install auto hotkeys or write your own code. And we're pretty much going to do roughly the same thing. So let me go ahead and launch that. So here we go. We got that open. We still have our um, Woodimation still up here running and whatnot. Um, but we're going to do in here is, let me move that so it's a little easier to see. So we got our speed here. We're going to keep it at that 5,000 milliseconds, a.k.a. 5 seconds. And then we can choose how much to loop it, so we can loop it 5 if we want. Um, and then right here where it says target window name, we just want to grab that real quick. So like, for example, if I do this, it changes it to that. So I can say get name, go over here. Uh, press F2. Let's close our other script here real quick, though. Oh, we already did. Um, that copies the clipboard, and then we're just going to paste that in here like that. That way, um, if we accidentally click out of the window here, it will stop as another second, basically a second uh, safety feature, I guess. Um, and then we're going to do key spam. Um, so with the key span, it's basically the same thing with coding. You can just put simply like A if you're using A as the hotkey. But if you are using um, something more uh, complicated like F1, you don't want it to type F and then the number 1. You want it to actually push the key defined as F1. So just put it in curly brackets. And I do know I need to enlarge the font and size of this GUI a little bit. That will be in the next update of this um, just because... I didn't even notice that until just now. So I'll put that on my to-do list. Um, but here we can just simply uh, push go, and it's going to do the same thing where it's going to autofocus. It's going to type that ABC. It's going to wait that roughly uh, 5,000 milliseconds, and then if I push F3, it uh, closes out for me uh, and just refreshes the program. Um, and so that's basically it. This was like by far the most asked question. I don't know why Moodomation hasn't included some type of uh, looping or repeat function very um, well into this. It seems like such a simple thing. Hopefully they fix it at some point. Um, but yeah, all the links are in the description below, so make sure to check those out. If you guys want to see any more things with Woodimation, let me know specifically what. I did my intro video. This kind of expands on trying to add that functionality you're all asking for. Uh, but if you guys have anything more specific you want to see, definitely let me know in the comments below. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye!